In this video, we have the CEO of Fruta. So if you want to learn more about him and the company as well, check this video out. Hi guys, so working for a treat, we have Lester Yu of Frutas. You all know him. Uh, we're gonna ask a couple of questions for you guys to know more about the company as well and for you guys to be inspired on how you can be a better entrepreneur. So, first question. When you were starting out, did you envision yourself being an entrepreneur already? Ever since I was a child, I was very interested with, you know, in business. Probably in the beginning of my life, I were your ano, uh, parents, uh, business people, tinuro ba sa yon, or parang you just knew it na ayo ako maging empleyado, mag magbe-business na talaga ako. Ah, then you can on. Nung bata kami, uh, we were required to ano, yung to help out in the family's business. Mm. Uh, yung parents ko, meron silang uh, jewelry store sa Ongbin sa Binondo, Chinatown. Nung pag-graduate ko nung college, wala sa isip ko na magnenegosyo talaga. In fact, nag-empleyo ako. Nagtrabaho ako sa isang banko. Okay, wow. Almost five years. Okay. On the fourth year, medyo nag-sideline ako. Nagnegosyo ako. Nung uh, lumakas, uh, nahihiya na rin ako sa em employer ko. na Pero alam nila, nagnenegosyo ako. So, sabi ko, kailangan ko na mag-full-time sa negosyo. Okay. Yung negosyo na yun, was that already related to food already? Or, uh, yeah. or not? Not yet. Uh, ano, uh, it's a beverage business. Okay. So, yun yung black pearl ngayon, yung black mm. pearl na pearl shakes. Okay. So, so, what made you go into that job? Since yung uh, background nyo was into uh, jewelry, tapos your work as an employee was uh, as a bank, tapos paano ang nag-job into, into that? Uh, nung panahon yun, the, that was the craze. Nakita ko siya sa ibang bansa eh. I decided to open one store dito sa atin. Okay. Uh, so, uh, this is what I always ask people. The, the first business is always the hard. I think the hardest. The first million is always the hardest. Ano yung pinaka uh, naramdaman mo nun when you were doing it? Was it successful at the first try? Or parang, uh, I don't know. Very, very, very challenging. Hindi siya ganun. Hindi ganun padali. Uh, talagang matagal na panahon para masabing ano magiging ano siya sustainable. In fact, yung business na yon, um, trend uh, o fad, mm -hmm. o ang bilis ng pag-akyat, mas mabilis ang pagbaba. Okay. Uh, so, maraming lessons yon na ito na natutunan ko. Did it when you said baba, did it go to zero? As in everything went to everything went to zero at that time? Oh yes, from zero oh. to 75 stores. And then from 75 to zero, mas okay. mabilis yung pagbagsak. Wow. So, pero because of those, because of the lessons learned uh, in that uh, ano, uh, business or experience, uh, it brought me, the experience brought me to Frutas. Okay. Yeah. Or led me to Frutas. Here's, here's what's in interesting also. I always tell people, don't just look at their success. Look at when they failed. Because a lot of people want to see, Oh, ito yung ginawa ng mga si, ng mga go kung we. When you when you lost a lot, uh, did you consider yourself a failure at that time? Hindi naman failure, hindi. hindi. Pero, siyempre, ano, malungkot ka nun. Okay. No, parang nadapa ka, pero kailangan tumayo ka eh. Hmm. Kasi, ganun talaga yung buhay eh. Hindi naman, ba pwedeng lagi kang, ano, nasa taas o angat ka. Alam mo, pag hindi ka naka-experience, nakaranas ng, ano, ng pagdapa o... Oh, Hindi ka matututo. It's like walking, di ba? A child, yung learning to walk or learning to bike. Ganon. Okay. Importante yon. So when you said it led you to Frutas, uh, what happened? Parang you, from from pearls, from uh, pearl, I, I think it's pearl teeth, no? you, you pivoted kagad to, to it? Ah, hindi. Hindi pa. Meron pa ako mga kung ano anong sideline of bis, uh, businesses na pinasok. Uh, uh, nag, uh, say we, I nag-import ako ng educational toys, mm -hmm. kitchenware. Nung panahong yun, uh, nagbibenta kami ng cellphone load. Dati yung ano pa yun, eh, yung uh, phone card, yung in-scratch. <laughs> ang una, yung nagbago ang diet ko, naging mas healthy ako. Uh, tapos nakita ko yung ibang uh, fruit juice player, matagal na, dekada na, nasa market pa rin. 
although slow ang kanilang hindi ganun kabilis ang paglaki nila pero importante nandun pa rin sila so sabi ko this must this must be sustainable so, so nagbukas tayo ng ano first fruit store okay. sinubukan natin pero ganun na naman hindi na naman kumikita nung, nung simula nung simula hindi siya kumikita there was there a point ba na saying na Pag wala pa to in 9 months, titigil ko na to, maggagawa na lang ulit ako ng iba. Or you were in it na alam mo, pag lalaban ko to, this will really work because... Pa, I, was it your passion or was it something that you knew na talaga gustong gusto mo talaga yung uh, to be in this space ng business? Wala namang ganung timetable na 9 months, magsasara na o... Um, na paano na, kung ano, hindi pa rin kumikita, I will give it up. Hindi naman ganun. Hindi rin naman masasabi yung talagang very passionate ako na yung fresh fruit juice. Um, Naniniwala ako na kasi yung produkto ano eh solid eh meaning uh, sustainable ang produkto fresh ang produkto uh, but during that time yung yung habit o yung uh, diet ng Pilipino hindi pa ganoon ka healthy eh so uh, pero tama malinaw sa akin na isang araw magiging mas magiging healthy ang diet natin as the income grows, gano'n, as uh, uh, as we get more educated, gano'n. As it started to get better, how did you find out that ito na talaga, I will, I'll double down on this, I'll open more stores already. When did you see that this is something na ito na yung, bu ito na yung buhay ko talaga? Na hindi na lang to sideline, hindi na lang to kiosk talaga na I, I can see this become 10 stores, 100 stores, and even more. There was a point in in our country, di ba? Dati wala namang yung mga ganong uh, ano ba tawag rin, yung mga marathon o yung mga yung mga fun runs then pero nung na, nagsimula yun nagkaroon ng ganong parang uh, occurrence o nagkaroon ng ganong trend doon din nagsimula napansin ko lumakas ang benta namin kasi nga mas naging healthy na ang diet ng Pilipino then nung lumalakas na lumalakas na di, yan tama pa lumina it's more clear to me na this business is the right business it's a sustainable business because uh, of several factors, no? uh, primarily yung produkto namin. Uh, malinaw na fresh, natural, no preservative. You know. would, you, would you say that it's sobrang sarap talaga niya, it, it has a great brand, that's why, uh, kasi pwedeng magaling, magaling sa marketing, bibili mga tao, pero dahil hindi masarap, hindi nababalik. You think your success is dahil sobrang sarap talaga? Yung produkto, hindi siya nagsisinungaling eh. Hindi mo naman maloloko ang Pilipino eh. Di ba? Matatalino, matatalino tayo. Malinaw eh. Mal Ibig sabihin, malinaw pa sa sikat ng araw. Nakikita nila eh. Doon ginagawa, doon na... Uh, ano ba ito? Doon binabalatan yung mangga. The products of uh, nature eh. Ano, eh, there's no question na masarap siya. Malinaw na, na nakakabuti sa katawan natin. Now, when you started to uh, build and scale the business, uh, when did it come to a point that hindi na lang frutas gagawin ko, I will start building and investing in other companies, other brands that's not uh, just related to frutas anymore? Umabot sa isang punto ha, na naging mas ano na ako, yung mas naging negosyante na, mas naging professional businessman, mas naging professional ang pagmamanage ko. Doon ko nakita no, na ako pwede pala ako pumasok sa ibang uh, produkto, hindi lang kailangan sa sa fruit shakes, sa fruit juice, gano'n. For mga entrepreneurs na nagsa-start, no, how, when do you tell them na mag-focus ka muna sa, sa business mo na to versus okay pa naman na pwede ka na mag-open ng something something different? Kasi yung, yung problema niba, gusto nila mag-diversify ka agad, nila gusto mong gawin. Is there a tip that you can give people to know na focus ka muna dito sa isa versus gawa ka na ng iba? Oo. Alam mo, ano yan, talagang tama yan sinabi mo. Kailangan maka-develop muna sila nung core competence nila o kung saan sila magaling and then uh, then they devote uh, their resources uh, their time their energy in that business that pag lumaki na lumaki nagkaroon na ng scale and then kung nag-say nagpa-plateau no yung uh, growth probably pwede na silang ano mag-diversify sa ibang linya Kailangan maniwala ka. Alam mo, malinaw, maniwala ka na ang bansa natin punong-puno ng oportunidad. Napaka-buenas talaga natin. Pag talagang gusto mo magnegosyo, eh kailangan buo ang puso mo. Ang focus, sacrifice. 
yun ang importante.